It is Sunday the 22nd and I got my coffee and we're going to do another mural and I shouldn't say maybe I shouldn't say we're doing another mural we're just finishing up one that I started like a year or almost two years ago it halted in the middle of like just the background you'll see it because my son had just dipped his hands in paint and hand printed the walls it's very cute but it kind of crashed my vision at the moment and I also don't want to bring myself to erase his hand prints so I just kind of stopped we're just going to make it look more complete, right? Simple things. Cheers. This is room so far. It doesn't look too bad. Um, like, I was wanting to add forest animals and more details to the houses and stuff. Uh, but I need to finish that tree limb, the sky, and then... <laughs> You can tell I just, I quit the second that those little claw marks down there happened. You want coffee? Yeah. But you're two. Okay. Impressive, you got this big of a mess happening in like the 10 minutes I've been working. What's that? It's a statue. What kind of dinosaur is that? It's a a triceratops? Yes, sir. I decided to just not paint that tree branch because that's where I am in life. But it's kind of done. Good job. It doesn't look that scary patchy in real life. It kind of does, but not that bad. It's like at a place where I can leave it and it doesn't look atrocious. I can actually look at my wall without wanting to cry for the first time in two years. I added the first layer of the little glitters. So we're gonna get there today. Son has already grabbed a Sharpie and tried to take out some walls and himself on the carpet. So I should probably pause my painting project for now. Toddlers are no joke. The natural next step of doing a project while your toddler exists is then cleaning up the mess that they made while you were doing the project. This whole mural thing took me like maybe 20 minutes. He got a sharpie out, he destroyed his room, he destroyed my room, he made a mess in the living room. It's very impressive. Very impressive. I can't even, can't even argue with that. But he ever says I look tired, it's because I am. <laughs> what the heck, guys? Do I look muscular? <laughs> when did that happen? I just accidentally caught myself at that angle and I was like, what the heck? Are you surprised we're back in the kitchen to clean up? Because I'm not. Literally. Just yesterday, no, two days ago, I did a time lapse of me deep cleaning the whole kitchen and doing laundry, and guess what we're doing again? Deep cleaning the kitchen and doing laundry. <laughs> The art of having a good workout is wow. to get your eyebrows done. Wow. Okay, ready? Next part. Pay attention, this is the hard part. Listen, I'm just gonna get all sweaty and gross at the gym. I'm not looking. I'm pretending that I do my makeup more intensely when I'm not going to the gym, but it's usually just this. We're gym ready, folks. That's it. Minute 22 seconds. That's how long it, my makeup took. This is the gym fit. Okay. Don't. Mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Just Essentials for a type 1 diabetic pre workout, headphones are a given, medical supplies, and fruit snacks. You never know what the gym session will bring. <laughs> oh, uh, who would have guessed? I actually forgot to eat breakfast personally this morning. I just had a big coffee. Who would have thunk? Anyway, I'm gonna go through the Taco Bell drive-thru and get, get a quick little snack before I go to the gym or else I might pass out. So we got a Baja Blast Zero. 
zero sugar. And I also got a three cheese chicken flatbread melt. Sub the chicken out for black beans. That's what I got. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna go hit the gym. I'm gonna make a pit stop. Oh my God. <coughs> we're gonna make a pit stop and go to the car wash really quick just to kind of get rid of garbage. Clear out the car and give my tummy and my heart a second to recover because Taco Bell's ruining me. I knew it would happen, but I thought I was stronger than this. Now it's time to actually meal plan and like figure out my macros for the week and then I'll go to the store, get whatever we need, and then we'll go home and cook it. trick for these overnight oats is, um, I mean, of course you can just cut the banana as you eat it, like, and just add it on top. But to save myself time, I put it on the bottom and then basically sealed out all the air with the yogurt. It took me like 12 minutes to make the eggs. It took me 45 minutes to peel them. 45 minutes. Three eggs per baggie. Three eggs per baggie. <laughs> Don't these eggs look just butchered? <laughs> so we're doing kind of a budget friendly week so I don't have to really meal prep dinner because we're just gonna do like top ramen with an egg and cilantro and chives I'm not gonna meal prep a fried egg so um, now I'm just gonna meal meal prep some staples for my toddler so that way my life is easier this week and then we're done you know what all this mac and cheese mac and cheese Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese. Yeah, your hair's a mess, my guy. Mac Bulk made some mac and cheese. I made it with chicken broth to add some protein, and then I'll cook some chicken nuggets and add something else to it. Poor people dinners. 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 Say happy family trip to the track. Yes. Yeah. Here you go. You have a little, you know, it's a little stinky poo. <laughs> Ew. Ew. How many poops are there? One, two, three Mom. stinky poops. I don't want to drop more. Okay, hold on for you. Ew, stinky poo. <laughs> Got rid of the shadows. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. Guys, I made this banana bread like a literal psychopath because I couldn't find any measuring cups. So I was using the scale, but when I thought it was on grams, it was on milliliters. And I also tripled the recipe, so I wasn't very familiar with the numbers anyway. But the batter has like a good consistency. But we'll have to see. All right, well, those are in the oven. We're gonna re-clean the kitchen because that's what milk prepping does to it. Then I'm gonna shower and then hopefully the banana bread will be done and then I'm going to bed. Big long day. It is, is it's 11 p.m. already. So I'll probably be in bed by midnight. Let's hope. All right, we're showered. We got some golden brown banana bread that may or may not be delicious because I didn't follow the recipe correctly on complete accident. And it's only 11.30. What can I say? Efficient as hell. Anyway, thanks for joining me on my average Sunday minus the in-depth toddler routines. And um, usually I also don't chaotically make banana bread every evening, but uh, had a good day. I'll see you next week.